He's here, sir. Let him in. <clears throat> Hello there. Were you that anxious to see me? Take a seat, Sergei. Hmm. It's been a while and I've missed you, dear. You're always rushing in and out of our town. And it seems like you can't even find the time to see an old friend. Oh, come on. Since when were we friends? You are fantastic, lad. Handsome. A real European. So did you really wake me up just to tell me how good I look? No. I wanted to share some good news. I finally met a woman. She's lovely, although she's what you'd call middle-aged. A respected head physician of our maternity hospital, Dr. Starling. Well, go on. I am very much aware of how many orphans you've made happy with all of your foreign trips. How many pregnant women you've managed to send abroad on the advice of our good doctor. Makes a pretty penny when you think about it. If it's true, what's it to you? This is my town. Don't you forget about that. You know I don't share, and you know how I work. Even if it's with you, I won't share. You know it's getting late. Sit down. Don't rush. Why are you in a hurry to get back? Is Dr. Starling waiting for you? Getting a new offer, huh? So are you working with the police? What do you care about my business? This is my home. Don't be rude. Behave yourself and be polite. There's nothing to talk about. I'm leaving. So you won't even shake my hand? You should leave. We'll talk alone. You can leave us. <laughs> I know that your guys have been following. I don't like it, but if you want to shake hands, let's agree on one thing first. We'll part ways for good. No hard feelings. Let bygones be bygones. You know that I never forget anything, Sergei. I also have a good memory. May you have a good sleep. And remember what I told you. <laughs> Whatever. Have they been gone long? Yes. Well, it has been a few months now. <laughs> they just packed their stuff, and they left in the night. <sighs> I did help them to the car myself. The two kids were with Anton, uh, and they... Was Olga with them? Olga wasn't there. She left ahead of them. <sighs> I was surprised. Now, where could she have gone when she's due to give birth in a month? Are you from the police? No, I'm just asking around. Don't try to fool me. I know from the start that you're a cop. Uh, do you know where they went? To her mother's place. Where else? The guy's an orphan. Mm-hmm. And where does she live? Not around here, that's for sure. Looks like someone spooked them for them to leave in a hurry. They carry just two suitcases with them. It wasn't even closed. It kept coming undone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, if you hear anything else about them, you, uh, give me a call, all right? Sure. Thank you.
Yes, madam. Did you find Olga? No, she wasn't there at their house when I got there. Uh, I was trying to call you two hours ago. Your phone was out of service. So they called you on your landline. Then Natalie told me you resigned from the police force. Is it true? It's true. Uh, but we'll get through this, don't worry. Come on, you can't be out of work. Come work with me instead and we'll become partners. This is a serious offer. Move here and I'll help you out with housing. Just work well and you'll get to live like a king. It looks like you'll be a godfather soon then. My wife and I are expecting a baby. So why don't you sound very happy about that? I am. Let me think about your offer. Think fast. Don't take too long. See you soon. All right. Listen to me, they haven't officially dropped the charges yet. They already told me that Zakharov died from an overdose. Everyone knew it. It wasn't my fault. They even planted the drugs, just so they could put the blame on me. I am innocent. Yes, I know that you are. But don't you think running away is even dumber? I'm just asking for you to wait until everything settles down. Nothing will ever settle down. I'm going to leave this town anyway. Have you thought of where? I don't want to think. I just don't want to stay here. I don't want to see anyone. You're running from yourself. You promised you'd stay for a week, Sergei. Why are you rushing now? I'll explain it, but darling, you'll have to wait later. We had a deal, right? You'd see me off to the airport, and that's it, right? Okay. How about a kiss? Sergei. Hmm. Now go. I'll explain everything later. Go on now. Go on. Take care. We'll talk later. <sighs> Thank you. Let's move! I don't want any. I'll have some. Drinking the nerves away? Uh-huh. It's a tough city we live in, and we're in tough times. Bullets flying in broad daylight like Prohibition-era Chicago. <laughs> I don't want to live here anymore. Hmm. I have a plane to catch and I need to go and register. Are you going to Moscow, to Moscow, to Moscow? Are you quoting Chekhov? Oh, you like to read, smart girl. Why did they shoot at you? <laughs> I have no idea. Are you sure I'm their target and not you? There's no way. I'm just a person of no importance. Ah, but I'm guessing you want to be important if you're leaving this provincial town. I'll miss my flight. Relax, you've already missed it. Uh-huh, it's late. You just missed it. Don't worry. You'll go on a train with me. Why let's would go. I do that? You saved my life, so let me help you. I will have to repay you somehow, and this is how. Uh, secondly, I see that you're no coward, so come on and say yes to me. You're talking as if we were close. We can start now. There's no need for you to be stiff. There's tea in the next car, and the attendant is pleasant. It's not like ours here. What's with a sad face, beautiful?
Come on, let's head inside. We'll have some tea and you'll tell me your story. All of it? Of course, that's the custom. Train, tea, chance encounter, mm -hmm. and a life story. Get in. How is this possible? He just vanished right out from under your noses! Got off scot-free! What kind of blunder is this? Say something! Huh? You don't have anything to say? Well, that just makes the both of us! Did our gallant police forces arrive right after your disgrace? Just perfect! It wasn't our fault. That broad messed with us. I kept thinking how, but she just appeared. Think? Can you believe he actually thinks? Now isn't that some news? Think! How could you miss from that distance? You brought shame into my name when you failed to kill and lost the bastard who stands in my way! That bastard is in my way! It was that girl. She's the one who screwed up everything. It was her fault. You at least found out who she was, right? You actually know her. It's Anna Korolev. They just released her from jail recently. And when we checked her home, she wasn't there from the airport. From the looks of it, she left at Udalov. Anna left with Udalov? That's right. Are you sure about that? Hmm. Mm hmm. Get out! Get out of here! Oh, Anna. Oh, you just had to be there yourself. You keep getting yourself in trouble. You're beautiful. <laughs> and beauty is not just God's gift. It's an asset, something you should use with skill. Do you even take my intelligence into account? If in addition to your looks you have brains as well, then you're blessed with two assets. You will go far with that, and I will help you. And what do you get in return? I'm just curious. It's too early to talk about that. But you got the right idea, that you are here now for a reason. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's necessary. Like hell it is. I'm about to give birth, but you said this is a cruel city. I never said I that. was born here, my father is buried here, and so is yours. <clears throat> and what about your mom? I, I do get it, but we need to go. <laughs> Anna already left, so you don't want to stay here without her. Is that the reason? Leave Anna out of this. I don't even know where she went, nor with whom. Then leave on your own. We'll be going together. Just stop making everything about her all the damn time! <clears throat> Thank God it's the weekend or we'd be stuck in traffic. Are we in a hurry or... Is someone chasing you? What do you mean? It's just with what happened at the airport. Just forget about it. Are you a gangster? <laughs> Are you serious? A gangster? I'm a businessman, and business is complicated in Russia. Okay. Now what are you doing? Look around, it's the northern capital. I've already seen it before. Where? On television. Ah, oh, I see. Come on in, don't be shy. No one has lived here for a while. This is my wife's house. She passed away. You'll stay here for a few days and we'll get you some new clothes. Take care of a few things and move on. So where is my room then? Choose anyone you like. You can stay here or in the room upstairs. I'll be sleeping somewhere else. And if you thought that you might interest me sexually, that's not something I'll do with you, okay? And in what way do I interest you? Always with the questions. The bedroom is upstairs. So is the bathroom. There's the kitchen with the fridge fully stocked. Use anything you need. The food was just brought in. Only the freshest and highest quality, so indulge. And yet? <laughs> Listen, do you have any goals? Anna, you're going to start your life anew. Remember what you left behind. Prison and a failed career. We both know that you deserve so much more. 
This is why I'll provide you with lodgings, food, and education. But in exchange, you will be working for me and not ask too many questions. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice in this? <laughs> Smart girl. Go upstairs. Make yourself at home. She didn't even think of you. Didn't say where she was going. You were ready to move heaven and earth for her. It's always Anna, but what now? Hey, don't be jealous. She was and still is the closest person to me. That's after you and our baby Andrew, of course. She just needs some time for herself. Life hasn't treated her kindly, but I know she'll call once she's settled. <laughs> and she will achieve things in life. What things? That's something different. I don't consider being normal as an insult. And I want my boy Andrew to grow up normal like everyone else. Our Andrew. And don't try to decide his fate for him. Let him decide for himself. May we get the things that we want, and not the things we deserve. There, just as you wished. All done. I bought the tickets. <sighs> done packing? Mm-hmm. I called Vadim. He'll pick us up. It'll just be the three of us. With you and him. What if it's a girl? The doctors haven't said yet. Well then, <laughs> just... <laughs> a boy. <laughs> it's a boy. <laughs> Hey, beautiful! Huh? Come down here. Coming. <laughs> here is your passport, all right? And this. I bought this for you. I hope I got the size right. And what if I don't like it? You will. The mirror is over there. Thank you for this. We're not at the center. We'll just go there later. You'll live in a suburb since we can't afford the city center. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Have a safe trip. Uh huh. Go on. Hey, take this one. I will. I like it. I think it suits you well. Everything that you wear must be impeccable. For that, you need to follow a few simple rules, my dear. Example. The suit should be moderately tight to emphasize that you are a woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And loose just enough to show that you are a lady. Mm. It's quite simple, <laughs> right? You think this is fashionable? All of the items I bought are highly fashionable and look elegant on you. <laughs> and of 
course. To whom does she address her best smile? The mirror. Too shabby. In Petersburg standards, it's practically for free. Wardrobe. See? There's soap. <laughs> Chair. <clears throat> Here, Natalie, please sit down. Rome wasn't built in a single day. <clears throat> well then. Thank you for the help. The folding bed, the other uh -huh. one is in the kitchen. Yes. The kitchen, it's over here. Uh -huh. uh, you'll get it. You'll figure it out eventually. Uh -huh. And you'll... <laughs> 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 Be quiet. Be careful. Well, I bid you farewell. Mm. Thank you for all the help! Don't mention it. Tell me, what are we doing here? Why did we abandon our home? Look, stop complaining. You know we'll have no future if we stay there. And here? We'll start from scratch. We'll see where it goes. I have nothing to fear because you're here with me. I guess I feel the same. I brought the curtains from her house. Well, shall we hang them now? Sure. Are they in the suitcase? Yes. Uh-huh. Let's go do this! Pleasure to see you, Vera Pavlovna. Mr. Sergevich, can you tell me why we couldn't talk back at the clinic? You know me, I'm just being cautious. The walls do have ears. I'm even afraid to invite you for coffee, and we cannot be too careful these days. You should know. Any good news? Everything's fine. If your clients are ready, I think we can go help them. Uh-huh. We can prepare the documentation for vitro fertilization and the transfer of embryos to a surrogate. We already have the right people. That's perfect, perfect. And the girl? Sadly, there is no lack of girls at our clinic who still want to undergo a late-term abortion. Leave it to my uh -huh. experience to convince them to give birth and put the baby for adoption. That sounds wonderful. Um, when can my clients come visit? You realize everything must go smoothly. These are serious and wealthy people. I'll let you know when. This particular couple was treated at our clinic for infertility. Ah. They chose Russia since it's cheaper here. And our specialists are actually quite good. In short, their arrival will look quite natural and won't arouse suspicion. They're just a couple who is coming to pick up their baby from a surrogate mother. Truly wonderful. Only you and I will know the whole truth about this. You're excellent as always. I'm counting on you. Good luck. I'll call you. Can I ask you something? Depends on what. Why is the last name in my passport different? But it's your photo, right? <laughs> but the last name is not. You don't have to worry. Crossing the border won't be a problem. As long as I'm here, you won't have problems. Ever. <sighs> uh, aren't you afraid I'll grow bored without any problems? Hmm? I'm not. I promise you there won't be time for that. <laughs> By the way, tomorrow we will be going somewhere. A wonderful city. Where is that? A very beautiful place. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh? Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> you know what they say about this place? This bridge? What? They usually say that at some point if you were to stare long enough at your reflection in the water during summer night, you would be able to see the reflection of the person you're longing for, the reflection of someone you love, the person that you have long been waiting for. Is that true, or just a legend? It's true, of course. <laughs> Are you hoping to see someone's reflection? Is there someone you are missing? You never told me about such things. And I won't. So there is someone, right? What other legends do you know? <laughs> no, 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 don't cry, baby. Shush. Hello, I can't talk right now. I'm putting the baby to sleep. Even with me? Anna? Yeah. Shh, shh, shh. Where are you right now? You won't believe it. I'm sorry for not getting in touch with you sooner, Maria, but I'm calling from abroad right now. You've gotten settled? Yes, everything is fine. I have a job now. I'm working for a certain smart and rich man. Oh, and listen, Maria, I'll get my medical degree after all. Really? Yes, I am. Congratulations. My Andy, he's all grown up. That's great to hear. Oh, and by the way, would you happen to know where Andrew is? Um, you remember Andrew? You're Andrew? Yes, where is he? He left town with his wife. Well, they fired oh. him from the police after your case closed. He can't return here. Uh, why? Where did he go, Maria? I don't know. He has a son now. Uh, a son. Oh yeah, well, he always wanted a son. I need to go, but we'll stay in touch. I'll call you back. Take care, bye. Take care. <sighs> hey, Andrew. What? Come and watch this. What is it? It's that Olga Pozhedev we were looking for. Where is she now? Ah, she's living in Ukraine with her is mother. It, uh... Her family, too. Then the priest found me and took me to the Red Cross office. They helped me so I can get back home. She found us herself, wrote us a letter, so we decided to invite her to our program. <coughs> well, I'm very grateful to that man. I don't even know his name. I have kids now. A third one, my Lena. I love her so much. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine how I could have agreed to give birth abroad. And even knowing that my baby would be taken away from me. And that he would grow up among strangers, not even aware of my existence. After the interview, we found out the trip abroad was arranged by the head of the local maternity ward. It was Dr. Maria Starling. So Udalov is the one pulling the strings. Hold on. We need to have proof. They say that at dusk. If you stare at your reflection in the water, you can see someone you miss. Or someone you want to see. Is it true? <laughs> I don't think so. I walk here often, but... Well, I haven't seen anything like that so far. And I don't want to see him. The child's father? That's right. That bastard. He tricked me and took me for a sucker. He promised me mountains of gold and told me he would marry me. But as soon as he found out that I'm pregnant, he disappeared as if by magic. Did you love him? I'm from Siberia. My parents were poor, we lived in poverty, but I met him in Moscow. He studied there. You know, love is just cheap talk. People sleep together and play. Then babies are born, but it's the last thing I need right now. I have my own life to sort out. <sighs> I see. I met people who told me I can put the baby up for foreign adoption, I'll get paid and they'll be happy. Well, I suppose for you it is the right thing to do. But there is only one problem. <sighs> I believe you would understand me. I'll explain everything to you. Okay. 
Right now, Russian children are highly sought after worldwide. The fees range from $15,000 to $80,000 per child. It's all quite simple. There's almost no orphans abroad. I mean, who can they adopt? Vietnamese or African children? And here you have white kids. I am sorry for sounding cynical, but that's the way things are. They adopt the children and you know what happens after that. Talk to the adoptive parents. Perhaps the child's race is not important to them at all. What do you mean that the race is not important at all? This is Europe. What would be the point of bringing black kids? What they want to adopt is a white boy. Oh, this is bad. Why don't you let me talk to them myself? If it doesn't work, then we can just send Kate home. Bring someone else. How about I give her a lifelong sentence as well? She's just a human. And she's a living expense. Do you know how much I've invested? Who will compensate for my losses? When we started on this project, you told me it was for charity, but now it seems to me uh... that all you care about is the money that you'll get. Well, my dear, I happen to care about money because it's how we can live an extravagant life. It is how you are able to study, stay in the best hotels, and get to travel all over Europe. Listen, I earn my bread honestly, and I don't sponge off you. If you think differently, then just count me out. Wait! <laughs> What's this? Did I offend you? Come on, what do you mean? You can't leave me. And I won't be able to work without you here. You know, you're like a daughter to me. You're the only person that's close to me. And amidst this loneliness, I don't even know what I value more. Whether it might be your beauty or perhaps your intelligence. <laughs> and I don't value your compliments. Oh, you can stop picking on my words. Let's talk about this. We'll fix everything. I will get my thoughts in order. You'll get your degree. We'll start any business you want, even anywhere you want in the world. Even back in Russia. For a young father, you don't seem to be in a hurry to get back home. I'm always rushing home. Yeah? I haven't noticed at all. I like Alina. Hm. She's groovy. <laughs> have you assembled her file yet? I have. She's got great legs, good character, and no husband. Never married. Not about to, by the looks of it. I'll invite her to a restaurant. So tell me, do you like strong women or are you afraid? Get lost, Vadim. Did I just hit a sore spot or something? Why don't we get a drink somewhere? You're not in a hurry to get home. You can tell me all about strong women! The boy is very ill. If we don't get him a transplant, within two weeks, he won't get to live. I will do all that I can do. You can trust me. Good. The sum? You... can name your price yourself. They won't mind. We need a healthy and live donor. How soon can we get in contact with you? I need just one day. Let me think about it. One day. That's it. <sighs> Did you go back to Natalie and destroy both your lives and Anna's? Well, she was already pregnant with Paul at that point. Uh huh. See, Vadim? It's fate. It's my fate. <laughs> Don't talk to me about fate. Fate, destiny, it's all crazy talk. And it's all delusions of a sick mind. A normal man forges his own destiny. Do you get me? <laughs> there you are. Fancy seeing you Hello, two look. here. <clears throat> Very I bad. came out of your office and got awfully hungry. There's not a single cafe around. Mm. May I join you? Vadim. I almost forgot, I'm running late. Where to? Well... Here, have a seat. Mm -hmm. This here... is fate. Uh. See you around! Bye! <laughs> Don't drink too much. <laughs> <clears throat> Want some champagne? <laughs> Well, actually, I would love some. <laughs> All right, then. Coming right up.
You do realize this is a unique chance for Alexei. We have to somehow hasten his arrival. He's eagerly expected. Why don't they come here themselves? They can't make it themselves due to circumstances. But my person will come for the boy. She's charming, reliable, and trustworthy. When should she come? Let her come in a week, then. Good. I bid you adieu, Ryza. Goodbye. And how are you, Alexi? Do you want to go to mom and dad? <laughs> okay. We'll start to get ready in a couple of days then. <gasps> this time they're demanding a complete medical examination. What for? Alexi is healthy. There's no need for that. Is his new family local or foreign? Is there any difference? What matters here is they'll adopt him. Would you like some soup? No, thanks. I'll wash up and go to bed. Mm. Andrew? I'm just a stranger in this place, and you're almost never at home. Tell me... Why did we move here in the first place? We never go anywhere or see anything here. All I see are these walls, and you busy with work. Did you just come here hoping that you'd see her? But she's not here. Just me and Paul. I'm here with you. No, Andrew, you're not. You should have just left me back then. But I never did. I never will. It's just out of your sense of duty. And just because you failed with her. That's not true. I'm not stopping you. I'm going to bed. I stopped by earlier and Kate had a successful delivery. Great, that's good to hear, but there's a pressing matter and I need your help. What is it? You will need to go to Russia and fetch a five-year-old boy from an orphanage. The paperwork should be finished quickly and you must leave tonight. But I have to take my final exam in a week. I understand, dear, but you can do the exam later. This is more important. I understand, but... No, no more buts, I beg you. Many things in my life, in our lives, will depend on how well you can do this job. I'll explain everything. What do you want? I asked you not to follow me. You can call the police, but I won't go away myself. You know I am pulled to you like a magnet. I haven't seen you for two days. Where have you been? I was passing my last exams. Okay then. What will be your job? A doctor. Then doctor, please cure me. Cure you? What from? You know, from... 
from madness. Oh, really? Because love is madness. Hmm. Okay. If you can read a lot, work a lot, not be in love, not not be mad. <laughs> is that it? It's quiet. And you think that quiet as well, don't you? <sighs> Listen. To dream about something is to have it. But when you really have something that you've been dreaming about, you can lose it. And your dreams are really better than real life. Remember that. Is that... Have you read it in the book? Or it's your own experience? <laughs> you said that you come here because you believe in a legend. That you can see here the face of the person you can't forget. Okay, then. Tell me about him. No. Go away. I said go. Okay. Bye. <sighs> Take care and goodbye. Read this. Oh, I can't read this. You can't? I'll tell you then. This is a letter from one of our foreign colleagues. Well, there's this couple. The man is 45, and the woman is 40. A few years ago, they came for infertility treatment at one of our clinics back and forth to Moscow. So they kept coming and spending their money, all for nothing. But just a month ago, they came back to their hometown with a baby. According to them, it was carried to term by a surrogate mother, our fellow countrywoman. <laughs> so they want us to find out where did that baby come from? Do you think Udalov helped them out? Exactly. And do you know why? They live in Amsterdam, and that is the city where Udalov is living at the moment. Everything's gonna be all right. After tomorrow, my comrade will go with this boy. He's absolutely healthy and can be a donor. It's checked. Thank you, Mr. Udalov. Tomorrow I will call and reassure the parents. They're acting out of desperation by taking that child's kidney for their only son. They're actually allowing him to live with their family. We should visit the clinic where the couple was treated. I bet he has many accomplices. He couldn't have done this all alone. Documents are indeed in the clinic. A certain Maya Kopilov registered as part of the surrogate mother program and gave birth to a girl for the couple. So it's all legit? Udalov is out of this? Um, just let me speak with this Maya first. I have her address, but I have a better idea. We'll let Alina talk to her. She's really great at making people open up to her. Mm hmm Tell me, what else is she really great at? Enough! We just went to the movies last night, you know? <laughs> Why do you have to go busting my chops each and every time? Good afternoon. I need to see Maya Kopilov. That would be me. Um, I... Wait! I know you! Please, come in! Aren't you the host of that TV talk show? Mm -hmm. It's you, isn't oh, it? Yes, that's right. Alina! Yes, I would like to talk with you. I even remembered your last name, Alina Belova! <laughs> <laughs> So, will you be inviting me to your show? I will definitely invite you to oh, appear me? in my show. 
But would it be all right with you if we talk mm -hmm. first? Off the record, of course. Do you mind? No, it's okay. <laughs> well, come in. Come on in. <laughs> Maria, stop. I'm here for just two nights, and I plan on spending time talking to you and one of them. How magical. What's your medical specialty now? I specialize in plastic surgery. Well done. I envy you a little. Have you met any eligible bachelors? Mm-mm. There's no one. <laughs> Just the other day, a boy on the street confessed. <laughs> and you know what, Maria? When you stop wishing for something, you stop attracting the attention of the opposite sex. <sighs> I haven't needed anyone for a long time. There's no one at all? <sighs> no one but Andrew. My whole life, I never thought that something like this could happen to me. <sighs> I can't believe it. She's not the surrogate as she appears to be on the paperwork. There was no artificial insemination at all. Hold on, so that means that Maya really gave birth? Yes, but it was her own baby. She went to the clinic when it was too late for an abortion. She told me she met a doctor there, but she didn't remember her last name. She said her name was Vera or something, but she can't be too sure. This doctor proposed that she put the baby up for adoption there and get some cash something. in exchange. So of course Maya agreed. She doesn't know what happens to the baby after. Mm -hmm. She happily accepted their 100,000 offer. How can she be dumb? Oh, stop it. There could be different circumstances in life. Mm -hmm. Now he starts talking about fate and destiny. But, Alina, mm -hmm. you know, it's just that Andrew here thinks you can't escape your destiny. What do you think about it? Me? Yes. I think the divine power that drives our destinies has always been a part of us. Wow. In addition to having great legs, she's smart as well. If you keep well. talking nonsense, I'll leave. Excuse me, guys, but I think we should be looking for this Vera. Or whatever her name is. Hmm. Here's our little Alexi, and here's your Aunt Anna, who will take you to your mom. Hello there. Hello there. Well then, ready to fly? Yes. You're not afraid? Mm-hmm. How oh, brave. You're good. As a promise, I'll get you a small plane just like the real thing. What do you think? Would you like that? Uh-huh. Good boy. Go on, get your things ready. Let's go, Alexi. Dr. Isa, I have something to give you. It's from Mr. Udalov. Hmm? Let's go to my office, yeah? Hmm. What do you want? That girl. She's in town. Anna Korolev. What about him? No. Anna came here alone, and from what we gathered, not for long. <sighs> I see. Leave. Checkmate. 